Hey Nick, how you doing? It's Bree. I went ahead and recorded you the video that I was talking about. Obviously, you don't have a website, so I wanted to go ahead and audit your Google business profile here. I wanted to start by saying that there isn't a website button, which I know you don't have a website, but you can create a at least temporary website through this Google business profile. Super easy, and that at least is something. So I would recommend going ahead and doing that. It'll actually also help this profile rank. So I definitely recommend doing that. You have your hours filled out, the phone number filled out, which is good. Obviously it's saying, you know, you need a website here. We've got photos, which is great. No reviews, but we're obviously working on that. We have the business description filled out, but I know it's not filled out to the full thing. So the full thing is about 750 characters and you wanna fill that out as much as possible. I don't see any posts to this profile yet. And uh, there, there's some other stuff that can be filled out. So you wanna fill out every single last thing that you can and engage with this profile as much as you can and that will help it to rank better. I wanted to talk about what people were doing. If we were to Google landscaping company CT, this is called the map pack, and this is where your Google business profile would show up. So the top three here are the ones that receive a lot of the work because they're super easy to find. They're listed right away. The way you get yourself into the top three here is one, by having the profile, which you do, two, by filling it out as much as possible, which we just went over, and then three, getting your name, address, and phone number uh, in as many directories as possible. And so a directory is something like Yelp or Yellow Pages. You want to get that consistent information into as many directories as possible, and this will really help to boost you up into the top. The websites below here, these are called the organics and the same things apply. You want to be on the front page and ideally within the top three positions so that the most amount of people are going to find you. Let's take a look at this first website here, CT Landscape. We have a really nice photo. The menu button's on the side. I'm not a huge fan of that because I almost didn't even see it, but this looks really nice. They've got some information about them, some beautiful pictures, some testimonials, a call to action. There's actually not a whole lot to this website here. So if we were to build you a website, we would definitely recommend getting some more content on the homepage. Google likes to see about a minimum of 1,500 words, and that's for two reasons. The first reason being is that the more content you have, the more Google's going to think you're an expert. They have crawlers that crawl through the content and they're trying to figure out what areas you serve, what services you offer, et cetera. And the more on there, the more they can learn about you. In addition to that, within the content, you want to have keywords. So something like landscaping company CT or CT landscaper or CT landscaping, right? Like they, they chose their name intentionally because it's going to help them rank. So on your website, you'd want to have about 1,500 words. You would definitely be beating them out content-wise with that. And you're going to want to have keywords within the content. Now let's talk about why they are ranking. This is a paid program I use to research websites called Eras. I went ahead and put them into here so we can see what you're up against. Now the last thing I want to go over is organic keywords. So these are the keywords within the content that I was talking about before. For example, Landscaping NCT. There's approximately 150 people who Google this per month. Landscaping company CT. There's approximately 100 people who Google this per month. CT landscaping, approximately 60. Landscaping companies in CT, approximately 100. Connecticut landscaping, 60, right? Like I'm not gonna go through all of them, but tons and tons and tons. And I know there's a lot of areas you serve in Connecticut, so there are specific areas for towns as well. The more people that are going to find you, the more that will call you, and therefore the more clients landed. So I'm sure you can see why it's pretty important to try and get in front of these people. I hope that this was helpful and I look forward to talking to you again. Have a great day.